we, our players have already shown clearly that designs which fold in principle don't fold in practice. So they've been very good at folding incorrect RNAs. And excitingly enough, uh, some of our players have designed RNAs which actually do fold correctly uh, in practice, uh, that is to say, in the lab. And so now the community is sort of a buzz about why those folded properly and trying to generate hypotheses that explain that and then synthesize more RNAs which actually do fold properly. So they've really, it's a game, but they've taken to this just like a scientific community. And in fact, online, when they communicate uh, with one another, they're generating knowledge, they're discussing hypotheses, and they've built, in some sense, their own scientific community around this game. And we hope to merge these uh, ideas ultimately with the full scientific community by submitting papers uh, based on what the community is doing. Uh, so the scientific community at large is, first of all, invited to play, although our, some of our players are pretty good. And uh, also, um, we're discussing ways in which we can take problems which are of interest to other research groups and pr apply them in the game so that, in some sense, a scientist can come to us and say, I would love to have 10,000 people look at my problem. Can you make that happen? Uh, and so, I mean, that's one of the really exciting, completely new possibilities that we're exploring uh, that the Internet's making possible, which is how can we apply 100,000 people to one scientific problem instantly.